it's time everybody knew about gorillas and how gorillas are not a real animal. It's just humans in fursuits. And it's a big lie that's been orchestrated to make you think that you're just a monkey. That's right. It's our guy Hans. And he's back again. Now he's telling us gorillas are fake. Buckle up your seatbelts. It's a wild one. Which one of these are real gorillas? Which one of these are fake gorillas? How do you tell? Is there a way that you can actually make a difference? Or is there actually no visual difference at all between what we classify as a real gorilla and Hollywood fursuits? Top of the line Hollywood fursuits. Because some fursuits are more obvious than others. But where do you draw the line? Like to me, this is so obviously not a real living animal. But uh, as far as I can tell, they're claiming that this is a real gorilla right here. And I tried to do a reverse image, image search on it. And as far as I can tell, this image is only used as like a clickbaity, uh, like I only found it. I, I never found an article that was like talking about this as a gorilla. Anyways, you could do a reverse image search if you want. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's like that image in the bottom left is only ever used as like a thumbnail for things. Okay, so he got serious on us real quick. So as you can see, this first segment that we're going to talk about in his video is he's using a uh, he's using a side by side and a big image of multiple gorillas in the wild. Okay, and he's saying that this image is like a not a stock image, but an image that he sees all over the internet. Well, first off, dude, that's maybe not a baby gorilla, but it's a very young gorilla. Okay. So when you were trying to make comparisons on that gorilla versus the other one, you're saying which one's real? Dude, they're all real. They look different because they're different. They're all, those are all different ages. You look at the one where they're both right next to each other. Put it here. That image, that is a young gorilla. No, I don't think that's like an, older, like an elderly gorilla, but it's definitely not a baby. You can clearly tell the difference. The easiest way to tell is look at the nose. You can see the development in the age of that gorilla, okay? And our guy, Hans, he's doing the same thing he did in one of the first videos I ever did on this channel, which was him saying orangutans are fake. Now, the only difference between the orangutans are fake in this video is he's saying some gorillas are real and some gorillas are fake. So he changed his tune from the orangutans saying they're all fake. Now he's going to gorillas and saying some of them are fake. To me, I purposefully picked one that this is supposed to be a real gorilla, but to me it's obviously fake and it's a bad model that doesn't have a good looking mouth. That just looks really awkward. And the one on the left is from a movie. That's Gorillas in the Mist. But they're the same thing. There is no difference between them. Again, the one on the right looks more cheesy to me. The, the one on the left is Gorillas in the Mist. The one on the left looks better to me than the one on the right. Why, why is the one on the right real because it's at a zoo, even though the one on the left looks more natural? And look how bad the gloves look. So there you go. Uh, in my opinion, the one on the left looks way more natural than what is presented in the zoo. However, the one on the left is from the movie Gorillas in the Mist. Do you get the point? All right. I'm going to get you here, Hans. This is the same. We have another side-by-side -side image. He says one is in the wild on the left, the one on the right. It says in, in the zoo. Again, you are not taking into consideration all of the things that are going on around how these images are taken, how these animals are taken care of. Dude, an animal is taken care of. Like, an animal in the zoo is completely different than an animal in the wild. An animal in the wild can't really be taken care of, taking care of people like it can in a zoo. That's first off why there's a drastic difference. Also, I'm gonna go back to it again, the age of the gorilla. You don't know what that gorilla's been through in its life. Has the gorilla on the left been in a lot of battles, been in a lot of um, all sorts of different types of um, community arguments within their group that they live with, man, you are not a wildlife biologist. You cannot make these types of claims. You don't know. I understand I'm not a wildlife biologist, but I do know a lot about animals. Obviously, a lot more than you do. I know that sounds extremely condescending, but that's what it is. 
yeah, I know a guy in short shorts is making claims about animals and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. But I know a lot more than you do about animals, Hans. Okay. Again, back to the video. Gloves? What do you mean gloves? Dude, have you ever, I mean, the gorilla fingers, the gorilla fingers, the video, the picture on the right, you can literally see, you can see its fingers. Man, look at all the images of gorillas. Go to a zoo. Go see a gorilla. You, their fingers all look the same, man. Even when they're little babies, their fingers look exactly like that. Those are not gloves. And again, the, they look different because they're in two completely different areas, man. Like you, the, the terrain that the one animal is in the zoo that's working with is not the same as an animal that's literally in the wilderness. Okay, it's not the same. These days they do a lot of walking. This one's just running. Somebody sent me this. This to this day, this is still some of the best evidence I've ever seen because this is was filmed at a zoo, and I just 100% think that it's really, really obvious that you're watching an actor who they either were too tired to to continue walking like a fake, you know, like a gorilla, like a, there is no such thing as gorillas, but you know, they, they either just got too tired to keep the act up or they thought they were behind that giant bush. And have you ever wondered why the whole giant bush thing here reminds me of when I was young, the San Diego zoo, they had a gorilla enclosure and I never remember seeing, or it wasn't the San Diego zoo. Sorry. It was the wild animal park. They had an exhibit, but I never remember there being gorillas there. Like, they just were never there, which is weird. Why would you have an exhibit and just never show them? And also like this, the gorilla exhibit was just covered with these giant things, with giant bushes, so you just couldn't see what's going on. And it's because that's the area where the actors know that they, they can't be seen anymore. And so that's where they, they get up and start walking like a normal human. Anyways... Somebody sent me this years ago, and I still think it's some of the best evidence out there. At a zoo, clear or actor, clear actor in a suit, pretending to be a legitimate wild animal. Ever wonder why those, those exhibits are so clean and they never escape? How they can come in and out of the doors at the same time? You're walking. Okay, this is my favorite part of this video so far that we're doing. This is Hans' so-called favorite evidence that gorillas are actors in suits, especially in this setting, which is a zoo. He's saying because the gorilla walked behind a bush and laid over that it was an actor that got tired. Dude, it's a gorilla. It's the same thing you've been saying this whole time. Buddy, they stand on their back legs. They run on their back legs. They run on all fours. They do. It's a wild animal. It's not a conspiracy. It's not an actor in a fur suit. Okay, you you you've got to take your blinders off, man. You think people are lying to you, but th that's not what this is. That's not what this is, man. The reason the bush is there is because of habitat. It's not there so they can hide and. What do you think the actor sitting back there drinking a freaking diet coke just hanging out? Give it a give it a break, give it a rest, dude. That's not what this is. Stop stop lying to people. Okay? It's dude, it's just an area where the gorillas are in a zoo in their captivity and they're hanging out and that's what they're doing. It's not a conspiracy. On to the next one. They just tell you it's real. That's the only reason you thought it was real. How fake does this one look? Really, it looks really awkward in the shoulders. Just looks like a suit. This looks like a bad muscle suit. That doesn't look fake. It's very real. Okay, so to combat his video even further that we just watched, I'm going to post a video. It's actually a very viral clip of a gorilla in, in captivity. It's in a zoo. I don't know where the zoo is, but it's a video of a gorilla charging at a like the glass window in the enclosure and it just so oh, I don't know if it's glass I'm sure it's some form of like maybe not bulletproof glass but some type of thick plexiglass or something and it charges it and smashes into the glass and cracks the glass <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and this is what I mean. That is not fake. That was not fake. That is a real gorilla getting very upset in whatever situation it's in or whatever it decided to do with its animal instincts and got upset and slammed itself up against the wall because it was pissed. So this is what I mean by him lying and saying these animals are fake in captivity. Man, an actor's not doing that. An actor's not moving that quickly, especially, uh, come on, dude, in a suit. Yeah, and a, a human's not going to be able to move that fast in a suit and slam itself up against a wall like that. The the uh, mannerisms and body movement of that animal, you a human could not replicate that and do that in a suit like that. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. How do they get all this footage? Who is taking... Who is taking the footage? That's one of the best questions that you could ask yourself. How are they getting this footage? How, who's recording this? And they get so many million in one shots. I see this with wildlife alleged photography all the time. There's so many million in one shots where everything is lined up perfect. But if you just take a few seconds to look, you'll realize that it's because somebody photoshopped it that way. How, how, do, they get, how do they get this footage of like running beside uh, a gorilla and if you watch it you'll be like dang this is like a movie this is like this is like watching an action movie except i'm supposed to believe that it's a, a wild gorilla and they're just getting these perfect shots we're going to keep this part short and sweet as well it's simple the wildlife biologist in the crew that whoever was working for that network or whoever that was it might have been independent documentary i don't know but they're out there for long periods of time it takes a long time for them to be able to be to those people to be able to be accepted. And they put a lot of cameras out there and they're filming the entire time they are out there. It's not a once in a million shot. They do say that. That's great. But there's a lot of there's a lot of footage that you don't see that they're cutting and snipping out of the documentary and the images and all of those things as well. Those are the things you're not taking into consideration, Hans. There's a lot of cameras. Those have hundreds of thousands of dollars of camera equipment all over the place getting as much footage as they possibly can of the wild animals while they're there. So they can make those documentaries and they can see how they're living in their habitats because that's what wildlife biologists do, not people like you. So at the end of the videos, like the ones we do with our guy Hans, we're going to give him a nice neuralizer and um, we're going to help him out. All right. All right, Hans. Listen, man, just like the orangutans, I don't know what possessed you to move forward and do the gorillas, but gorillas are real. Just like I did in the last video. Bud, go to the zoo. Go somewhere where there are gorillas. I'm not saying you have to like be with them in the, in the, wild, in the wild. You don't have to do that. But what you need to do is you need to stop being so ridiculous and you need to just move on with your life, man. Enjoy things. Stop making everything seem like it's a conspiracy because it's not. Uh, I can clearly tell that it's making you very unhappy when you're talking because you think everything is a lie. Everybody's lying to you and that's not what is going on. Thanks everybody for coming by and watching our videos. This has been an episode of Nikki at Night. I'm your host, Nikki. Uh, thanks again. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.